Trump's social media director, Dan Scavino, complained Monday that Facebook had banned him from posting comments. Dear Facebook, wrote Scavino, posting a screen grab of the blocking notice he received, amazing. Why are you stopping me from replying to comments followers have left me, on my own Facebook page? People have the right to know. Why are you silencing me? Please LMK. Thanks. Scavino's account was temporarily blocked from posting comments, although not new original posts, because previous messages had been reported as spam. Trump, or potentially Scavino, who has access to the president's Twitter account, retweeted a story about the suspension, adding I will be looking into this. Number Stop the Bias Trump had complained about Facebook and other tech companies earlier Tuesday morning, writing, Facebook, Google and Twitter, not to mention the corrupt media, are suru on the side of the radical left Democrats. But fear not, we will win anyway, just like we did before. Number Mega, when asked about social media during a joint press conference with Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro Tuesday afternoon, Trump stated that there is collusion among tech companies against conservatives and that we have to do something. Rep. Devin Nunes, R. California, a Trump ally who was chair of the House Intelligence Committee until January, filed a $250 million lawsuit against Twitter on Monday over what he described as abusive, hateful, and defamatory content, including from parody accounts under the names of Devin Noon's mom and Devin Noon's cow. The cow account has gained over 100,000 followers since Noon's announced the lawsuit. Trump said in November that his administration would look into Facebook, Google, and Amazon for potential antitrust violations. Tech companies and their treatment of conservative content has been an important cause for the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., who targeted Instagram, which is owned by Facebook, accusing it of deboasting conservative posts. In 2016, Gizmodo reported that Facebook had suppressed conservative news stories. Facebook's reputation has declined precipitously over the last year amid a number of controversies, including data privacy. However Facebook, which was a key element of Trump's 2016 campaign, has not silenced pro-Trump messages. A study released last week found that the most popular publisher on Facebook over the last year was Fox News, a network that is closely associated with and extremely supportive of the White House. The sixth most popular site was Daily Wire, a conservative outlet. The Trump 2020 campaign has been very visible on Facebook as well. Trump's re-election campaign spent $3.5 million on the platform between December 30, 2018 and March 10, far more than any of the Democratic contenders, and more on Google than any of its rivals during that period.